Peter Bain, Martin or over. Right, last Christmas, Georgina Burnett was set a very special makeover challenge and her creative skills have been put to the test once again, this time for our NHS heroes. Last time, I was contacted by an amazing children's hospice, asking to transform their playroom for those in care. It was one of my most important and rewarding jobs I've ever done. And after the success of that makeover, I've been contacted again. This time, Blackpool Victoria Hospital have reached out because they need an updated staff room for the hardworking doctors and nurses in the emergency department. Now, the NHS has done so much for us, it's time to give something back. Hundreds of patients are treated at this emergency department every day by the doctors and nurses working around the clock to save lives. Their shifts can be exhausting, so it's important for them to rest on their breaks. But at the moment, their staff room is not the most inviting place to relax. No one really wants to come up here because it's boring, it's drab, and makes you feel a bit more miserable when you're on your dinner. The tables are old, the chairs are old. You're coming up the stairs from a busy shift and you're thinking, God, I'm going to have somewhere to sit. Who's going to be using the microwave? The staff are in dire need of more appliances and an area to properly relax, which is why one of the consultants called for my help. With what we've gone through over the last couple of years with the pandemic, general pressures on the services continuing to do so, it would mean the world to them. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Let's see for myself. OK, so this is the room. If they're coming here for a break from their work, I feel like it just needs to be a lot more tranquil. We need to make this as calming, a much different colour scheme it needs as well, so it kind of separates it from where they're working to where they're actually having their break. No time to waste, we need to get cracking, especially because I have ambitious plans. Basically, the whole colour scheme of this room is changing to make it less clinical, more homely, better use of space with furniture as well, because at the moment it's not enough seating area for everybody, and putting some plants in, because I always think that plants just make it feel more relaxing and more homely. I can't do this on my own, though. My trusty team is with me every step of the way. There's handyman Ollie. <laughs> and a new addition to the makeover team, Phil Robinson, a former patient at the hospital who wants to give something back. Just look at the detail here, John. Yeah, well, you've got a good steady hand there. So you volunteer here at the hospital, do you? I certainly do, Georgina, yes. So what's your, what's your connection? I had a heart attack in October 2014. I ended up in A&E and they found that I needed bypass surgery. I went and had cardiac rehab and during that, that time I got asked if I would, be, I would be an ideal candidate for volunteering. And what do, you, what do you get from volunteering? I do it to say a thank you, but I'm, I feel appreciated and I'm making a difference. Well, you're doing a brilliant job here, Phil, so thank you so much. We've got no loads problem. to get on with. Ollie, what on earth? It looks terrible. You're supposed to be the pro around I've only been doing this two days. <laughs> Ollie, do you want me over there? <laughs> Come on, mate, you oh. sort me out. <laughs> <That shot. laughs> it's all going well so far until we hit some obstacles. I had some really lovely wooden bespoke blinds being made, being donated for this. And they've just turned up at my house in Seven Oaks. Um, I'm in Blackpool. <laughs> I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do about this. And that's not the only dilemma. The paint is not dry, is it? It's not dry. We haven't got any circulation. Yeah. We've got a little fan there. Yeah. Not really helping, I have to say. And the flat pack bed we've bought to give staff some rest is causing us nothing but stress. We've missed a screw. We're way behind schedule but it's time to call it a night. It's fine, we'll come back refreshed tomorrow morning and we'll finish it then. I really hope these blinds turn up. It's day two. The paint has dried and we're back on track. It's nine o'clock now. We have to get this room finished by lunchtime so everyone can come in for their break. But I have had some great news. The blinds have been delivered somewhere in this hospital. I don't know this hospital, but luckily Phil does. So he is on the case and he's going to go and find them whilst I help Ollie finish this bed. The blinds have arrived! Yay! Yay! Hooray, what a relief. No more excuses. Let's get this finished. And in the nick of time, it's complete. We're done. Well done. Thank you so Brilliant. much. Brilliant. Amazing well effort. Well Brilliant. Come on, let's get yeah, out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Brilliant work.
the room is transformed. Staff now have an area to rest, a nice table to eat at, and a much more welcoming space. <laughs> Let's hope they like it. Oh, it's wow. really nice. Oh, oh I love wow. it. I love it. As soon as you walked in, just the lights and everything, it just felt so relaxing. It's like we sat on a bed in a staff room, right? It's just what you want, isn't it? There's a foot spa. Check this out. You've done an amazing job, and we're really, really grateful for it. I can't stop looking around. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's just what we needed, relaxing, somewhere to chill, coffee machine, phone chargers. It's just really, really good. Thank you. No one deserves this more than these hard-working doctors and nurses. You guys do such an amazing, important job. We just wanted to say thank you to you. I know that you have very busy shifts, so we won't keep you any longer, but please, please just enjoy this room and make the most of it. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Very nice. Good job. Done. Yeah, well done.